So now that we've introduced entropy in uh, an information theory context, uh, let's go back to what we're trying to do here, and that is solving our logistic regression problem, right, and finding a loss function that we can use in these classification problems. So the first thing we'll need to introduce for that is the kullback leibler, leibler um, divergence, or relative entropy. Um, what does that mean? It is um, a quantity that gives us the difference in entropy between two distributions. So we ha let's imagine we have a set of x's that correspond with probabilities p of x and a set of x, and that same set of x's can correspond to um, a probability q of x. Okay, How different are those distributions? What is the difference in their um, entropy? Well, we can calculate that through this uh, kullback leibler divergence um, 4p given q, which is minus the sum over p of x, the log, and now we have the ratio of q over p. So you see that this is, of course, inspired by the entropy, um, but it is not quite the entropy. Um, one of the things we will see is that, uh, or that you can see, is that um, this will always be positive for the same reason why um, our, our um, information entropy is positive because our probabilities are going to be between 0 and 1, and so that ratio will also be between 0 and 1, and the log will be negative, and so we'll end up with a positive number. And so this means that this is a positive definite quantity. Um, and actually it means that it's a, a positive semi-definite quantity, and it's positive definite, definite because there's only one um, condition for which this uh, um, kullback leibler divergence is exactly zero, and that is when our probability distributions are the same. Okay, how does that help us now? Well, um, what we're trying to do when we're developing a, a classification algorithm is determine when our, um, our, our algorithm predicts values, let's think of those as our Qs, with certain probability, um, it predicts a classification with certain probability, and that classification is identical to um, the classification that is present in our um, in our training data. So that those are the probabilities um, in our training data. So that is the kullback leibler divergence, uh, and the only thing that um, we now still need to do is just figure out well what happens if uh, it is actually calculate this cross entropy loss function. Um, and that is just taking the kullback leibler divergence and adding it to the information entropy um, for our probability dis uh, distribution p. So that then just gives us minus the sum over px log qx. And so you can see why this is called the cross entropy loss function because it crosses um, the roles of p and q in this uh, in this entropy. So p will be the um, the actual probability. In, uh, in our training data, and Q will be the probability that um, our, our training algorithm, uh, that our, uh, our algorithm returns. And so we want these to become as close to each other as possible, and we do that by minimizing this cross entropy loss. Okay, now we have uh, everything we need to move on to logistic regression. Um, and so we'll use the same kind of problem, um, a diabetes data set, it's a different data set though, um, but uh, um, we'll, uh, we'll come back to that in the next video.